Remember me? It's your girl Megha. You're watching me again on my channel. Today's video as you saw in the title that I'm gonna teach you how to edit your videos. Nobody taught me how to edit my videos so... But let me give you one small tip that your videos which you record is just the body of the entire presentation which you're gonna give. The editing and the way you present it is the entire soul of your videos. You can make as much funny video as you want but it would not represent or make other people relate to you unless and until you have a you know, sound effect, have a picture on it or have a recognition of what you're talking about. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that in really beginner stage, like it's gonna be really basics and I hope and I wish somebody taught me that because my five videos, first five videos sucked like anything. But any which way, it's not gonna happen to you. So if you are thinking of making a video, edit a video for someone else or make a YouTube channel and video, edit a video, whatever, if anything related to editing, the beginner's lesson is going to be right here. The app which I'm gonna use to show you editing is the iMovie app, which is a free app which you get with every MacBook. At the same time, I also know you all, many of you guys have normal PCs, the window PCs. So uh, there's a link down below, right in my description. Click on that link. In that link, you will get a lot many more apps which is just for PCs and Windows. You can download them for free. Like, you know, apps like Final Cut Pro and, uh, you know, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro CC. All of those are totally latest versions, 2020 versions, and those are free. Okay. Starting off, first of all, get comfortable. Editing takes a lot and lots of time. It takes literally like, it takes me four to five hours at least to create one video. So I don't know which kind of videos you are making. It can take a lot more time, a lot less time. It, it all depends on how much time you wanna spend on making that video a perfect video. But, 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 you have to get comfortable in any position you like. Like I sit in my bed like, uh, you know hog or a sloth or whatever is the most laziest animal on this universe you have to go to the app of iMovie and click on create new and the movie and this page will come out where you will actually start your you know wonder creations you know editing your videos and stuff so first thing I do is I airdrop all of my videos which are on this phone and I put them back in my laptop and I drag all of those files in this box like this the way it's shown here. Do you see the place where there's written setting? Exactly there you have to click that arrow thing from this you know right to left to you know increase the size of your file and decrease the size of your file it is also really good for editing because you can precisely see which part you want to cut off chop off or which part you want to exaggerate the next thing i'm going to do is that for example, this is a makeup video, right? So I uh, want the speed of this makeup video to go fast because, you know, I don't want a slow motion makeup video. So first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to click on this icon and then I'm going to click fast. There's also slow, custom, you know, free size or everything. And I mean, slow in that you'll get, you know, the video will get slow free frame in this free frame your video will get still and custom is you can custom the you know how fast or slow you want to make this video so custom is like it's in your hand now the next step which is really important is audio editing is so important i don't know how many people needs to hear this but audio editing is super important thing and you need the people would literally click off your video if your video is not audio edited like your audio needs to be clear crisp and people should hear every each word you say that's really important so this is you look this blue thing which i click whenever you click on that auto it gets totally microphone and if you click on that button and you see that red slash that came that means your video get muted so this is a makeup video so i'm going to mute this entire video At the same time the next icon which i'm showing here that you see the reduced background noise? Yes. 
so like I'm making this video under a fan or let's say AC and the voice that is around me is also coming with it so to cut off that noise reduce background noise is really important now there's equalizer in equalizer you get a voice enhancement which also again makes your voice a little bit more louder and crisp now a very interesting part which I'm gonna come to is adding music in your videos so there can be three ways you can add music first is iTunes which is actually your already downloaded music which would you would be having in your PCs or in your MacBooks second is sound effect which every editing app gives it with so even if you have Final Cut Pro even if you have Adobe Premiere Pro CC or if you have iMovies you get some free sound effects for editing it so you can also choose like you know in my video you can definitely see this constant music that is going on like that is a sound effect which I got from iMovies in iTunes you can have a specific song like I'm going for Post Malone's Sunflower like so that's how you drag it and you put it down your video and then they both go together yes also you can uh, increase the sound of the video you can decrease the sound of the video that's also up to you now the next thing which I'm gonna tell you is how to trim or you know split the video so you have to go to the video you have to click on the video and you will get options like this you know play cut copy delete split split clip e, the split clip click on the split clip and your entire clip would split in two different halves and you can do is add as many times as you want you can split a single clip as many times as you want it, until and unless it's one second clip you cannot split a one second clip look see and now if you want to delete that particular delete that part you know like this boom not a rocket science it's a really easy process editing is so fun and easy and you get to decide and have so much hold on whatever work you want to do now let's go to the interesting part if you want to add like you know words or let's say um, term before you want to like I'm using a product that is a concealer so I want to put like a tag that there I'm using a concealer so I'll go to the titles and I'll take this particular thing I'll go to the titles and I'll take this particular template and I'm gonna drag it above my video and then I'm gonna edit the name so you can see the name on the screen now I'm gonna edit it I'm gonna backspace it and put the product's name in it so that people would know which product I'm actually using isn't that crazy you can do stuff like this and also you can change color you can literally go either you can put it like white or you can change color like red yellow green blue purple like so many options you can do anything you want to do you can do many more templates like there are many other templates you can use any templates you want you can split them you can cut them you can delete them do whatever you want to do like it's all in your hand now there is one more thing which you can do and uh, which I also do is if you want to introduce your video in the first page with you know something rare or you want to you know use like a big template a crazy template to introduce something like supposedly this you see you just drag the templates from the background and you add the title on it and then you just edit whatever you want to you know like it's like an introduction of your makeup video like it's a makeup video introduction so I'm gonna just do this now let's come to the fun part of this video which is dragging images and putting the images on you know on your video so for example let's take this Jesus Christ picture and I want this picture to be on my face or let's say somewhere in the video while I'm making it let's say you are related some picture with something you said and you want to put that picture on the video so that's how you do it 
you go to this place and then you click on picture in pictures you click in that you crop you size up the things you want to size up and stuff i want to put it on my face because i am god and then you can also go and either you can do the Ken Burns. Now Ken Burn is that the videos go zigzag, zigzag and you can do fit which means that it would stay in the same position. Now that's totally up to you what kind of thing you want. And crop to fill is the thing that you can crop it as small as you want, as large as you want, totally up to you. I'm super sorry I lost the audio of the specific editing when I was saying I don't know where the fuck it went but now how to make a video more dramatic and you know how to change your voices and also the filter of your pictures or video or whatever so first and you can go to this icon that is the filter and you can change to any filter like black and white or you can go to any other filter you want to go and if you are done with that the next thing you have to do is go to this icon and there you will find different type of voices like pitch 4 pitch 3 you know you will get a really shriek or a cosmic voice or echo so it's really awesome to make your videos dramatic so this part is not that important but I learned it a few days ago so I'm going to brag about it. So the situation here is that if you want to make anything look 3D or you have an animated video like I downloaded this specific subscribe like video from you know Google. So I now have dragged it and I've used this green and blue screen and erased it by that icon. The background get erased and now you get boom a 3D video. And by that note please do subscribe and like to my channel. Now the same goes with this transition things like you can go to the transition where it is written transition and there are many transitions like you know fade to black, doorways, like circles, swap, cubes, mosaic. There are many other type of things. All you have to do is drag one of those templates and you have to put it between the videos and you have to do it in a way like like supposedly I want to do it between this foundation thingy so I will split my clip and I would put that transition thing between that just like this there you go now now the last thing which can make any videos really precise and good and funny is cropping it out like you want to precisely dominantly speak about one stuff in this entire video or let's say you want to prominently speak about that topic at that time and you want people to focus on it all you're gonna do is zoom into your face zoom into that product which you're using so that people focus on it so like this I focused on my eyeshadows like I particularly want to show that orange and that another color eyeshadow so I wanted to focus in those eyeshadow so all I did is I split the clip and I took that one clip and I cropped it like the crop to fill and then just crop it out just crop as small as you want or big as you want and just click that tick button that done now you can see clearly how that color is actually looking isn't that crazy that was it that was it for my video and I hope I helped you a little bit if you guys need more help you can totally DM me on my Instagram follow me on my Instagram and DM me I will help you out with your editing problems why is the light so much oh my god Oh. so you can DM me I will help you out in whatever problem you have while editing and I will try to make another video on Final Cut Pro and uh, hopefully that get edited soon and I'm gonna put it on my channel and also please like share comment and also please tell me if you have any issue with editing or something like that I love you guys so much see you in my next video bye